I've had quite a few requests for Lightroom tutorials. So I thought I would start with probably the simplest thing to do in Lightroom, and that is sharpen an image and noise reduction. I do them both at the same time because they kind of work together. And I chose this image of this red-shouldered hawk for a reason. It's easier to sharpen and reduce noise on an image that has a nice clear background like this because you can really separate uh, the point of interest, in this case this bird, from the background and apply sharpening and noise reduction or actually just sharpening to just the bird and not the actual background here because you don't really need to do that. You don't need to sharpen any of this water here in the background. It's uh, will just make the picture more noisy. So a lot of people are intimidated by Lightroom and they really shouldn't be because uh, Lightroom is non-destructive. You can't make a mistake. It doesn't save any of the adjustments you make to these files um, in the original file. If you want to make an adjustment later, you can always come back and do that. So it doesn't write all of this information or all these changes you make into the file itself. So you can always come back and change them later. And just to give you like a quick for instance, here is this file before I did any kind of processing. So that's the raw file, just blank. And after I did all my little tweaks and stuff, this is what it looks like. And I'll, if you're interested, let me know and I'll do another video showing exactly how I got to this point. But for right now, let's focus on sharpening and noise reduction. So you have to come over here to this detail module or tab, whatever you want to call it. And I pretty much use some very default settings. Like so for under noise reduction, um, the detail will be at 50, contrast is at zero, color is at 25, detail is at 50, smoothness is at 50. And my settings that I use under the sharpening section are a radius of 1.0, detail of 25. And you can't adjust any of these until you actually start to apply some sharpening. So I'm gonna just put a little bit of sharpening on here. But here's something a lot of people don't know and it's extremely powerful. So what I was, what I was talking about when it's best to have a, an image without like a really busy background or a blue background like this, if you hold down the Alt key or I think it's Command on your Mac and you use this masking, you get this really weird looking black and white effect. But what this is doing is everywhere you see the color white, it's going to apply sharpening. So we don't want the entire image to be sharpened like this. I only want to apply sharpening on the bird. So I slowly move this image or the slider over to the right until all the white is gone from the background. I want the background to be solid black, just like that, and then let go. So now I have masked this bird and the sharpening will only be applied to this really cool looking red shouldered hawk. So then I'm gonna apply uh, just around 70% or 70 for sharpening. And when you do this, if it's a noisy image, it will increase the noise. Like you can see the noise right here. You can see the noise here in this blue and white when you zoom in really far like this. So I'm gonna do some reduction, noise reduction and reduce this noise. And that's really simple. You just slide this luminance tab over to like maybe right around 45, 50, somewhere around there. And all that noise disappears. So I'll, I'll put it back down. And I don't know if YouTube's videos are going to render this difference. But it, without any noise reduction, it's really noisy right here. So I'm going to bring the noise reduction back up to, we'll say, right around 45. or Yeah, that's close enough. And all that noise has been reduced. So now if you zoom back out, the bird is good and sharp, but this background is not. And all the noise has been reduced. And it is really that simple. So you use the masking tool. Again, you hold down Alt on your keyboard or Command on Mac, I can't remember. And you mask out all that noisy background if you can so that you have just the area that you want sharpening highlighted in white. And then you apply the sharpening, which I do around anywhere between 50 or 70. And then for noise reduction, it's as simple as sliding this luminance slider all the way over, generally somewhere between 30 and 50. This was shot at a lower ISO of 320, so it's actually not that noisy of an image. But I'm going to show you another image um, that has a really busy background. And then you can see how it's really hard to separate uh, the sharpening 
where you want the sharpening applied. So I have this image of the snail kite here that I like. So this snail kite, it has no sharpening and no noise reduction, but it was shot at a higher ISO of 1250. So the image is noticeably noisy. You can see quite a bit of noise here. And again, when you sharpen an image, it also sharpens or seems to amplify the noise in the image. So that's another reason why it's best to have a nice clear background as opposed to something really busy like this because if I start sharpening the entire image it's also going to magnify or bring out that noise a little bit better. So I'm going to apply a little bit of sharpening so I can get to this masking tool and then I'm going to hold down alt again and I'm going to start sliding this masking tool and you'll see how difficult it is to get this bird separated from the background. My keyboard's dying on me. There we go. So everywhere where there's white, again, is where the sharpening is going to be applied. And you can see if I crank this masking all the way up, I can't really get the bird or just the bird uh, masked out to apply that sharpening. So I'm going to end up having to apply sharpening to this entire image instead of just the bird, which will bring out the noise a little bit more, which means I'll have to use noise reduction um, on a higher level. So I've masked it out at about 50 and I as you can see there really wasn't any difference if I do this it's it's only gonna sharpen little areas here in his wings and not his face that much so I'm gonna bring it back down a little bit and then the noise reduction on this you should be able to see pretty clearly you see a lot of noise right here so on this one I'm gonna have to crank the noise reduction up to probably around 50 and I just know this from past experience and it should reduce a lot of the noise that was here. And it did, right around 45 or 50 for this luminant slider. You can bring it back, see all the noise, and then you can bring it back up to right around 50. And all that noise is now gone. And the image is a little bit clearer. But that's really the difference. If, if you can get images of whatever it is, it could be people, buildings, trees, whatever, landscapes, and have a clearer background, you can apply sharpening to just your uh, subject of interest, like here with this red-shouldered hawk. And then the sharpening is only applied here and not to the background. And it really is that simple. Just a couple simple adjustments with sliders, and your images are uh, nice and sharp and noise-free. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the thumbs up and leave comments. It uh, doesn't matter if they're questions, concerns. Let me know what you think of the video, and if you would be interested in seeing more videos like this on post-production techniques in Lightroom.